on the show today is one of the nicest young men I've had the pleasure of talking to, um, and that is Jaron Willis. Watch the instincts on this play. He sees the screen, he reads the quarterback, finds the receiver, and makes a big play. This hit right here, I mean, what a kill shot. Dude, this kid has a family. Um, again, right here, I mean, this has to be a quarterback's worst nightmare. That is an absolute lights-out shot. And then when we look at this right here, again, he drops back. He covers up everything underneath, so they have to hit the drag coming across, and boom, he is down. Like I said, guys, on the show today is one of the best backer slash safety hybrids because this kid can do it all in the nation in the 2022 class. That is Jaron Willis. Jaron, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate I appreciate you taking the time, man. Um, I know you're out there grinding day in and day out. So uh, the fact that you took some time to come on the show, uh, it's much appreciated. Um, okay. Let's start off with this, man. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is Jaron Willis. I'm, I'm about like six one and a half, six two, um, two two twenty, two fifteen. Um, you know, I'm a Georgia boy. I like to. I like to play cards with my family, you know, I like to hunt. <laughs> so, you know, being, you know, living like the Georgia life, basically. I like it, man. And uh, when, when I like check out your film, you're such a big, strong, freaky, athletic, like linebacker. Um, like it really pops on tape of just how fast. And when you hit somebody, I mean, it's a kill shot. I mean, you, you really finish through them. Um, what age did you really realize that, you know, maybe you could go pretty far in this game? Uh, I want to say, I want to say well, my first, my first time getting off the show was around like 16, 16, 17. I like that, man. And uh, as of today, you have 14 offers on the table. You know more is going to be rolling in. Um, when do you expect to kind of have a decision? Probably late senior year, you know, or, you know, probably mid-senior year, late senior year, or just on signing day. I like that. And then as of now, um, is there – like, you don't have to say, obviously, but is there a smaller list in your head that you're kind of narrowing it down to? Uh, yes, sir. It's like around like Georgia Tech, um, Florida, Florida State, Auburn, Tennessee, somewhere around like that. I like that. And, uh, no, that, that's awesome to see. And, uh, do you have any personal goals for this coming season? And what do you hope to achieve personally? Really? Honestly, like I'm more of a um, team player. So my personal goal is probably like the team goals, you know, you know, come, come to uh, to compete every day, um, get better at our craft, and um, you know, go in, go trying to win the state. I like that, man. And uh, you guys had a great season last year. I believe you guys were eleven and two last season, correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, you guys can definitely build upon it, but um, you know, the the, the strong's only get, get, going to get stronger. So uh, definitely excited to watch you guys at Lee County uh, do it this year. Um, how is the football scene with all COVID-19? Is it looking okay in Georgia? Is there any, you know, cautions about you guys might not have the season? Oh, it, I, I don't think it's a, um, a caution. But it's, a, um, it's still a possible we don't we might not have a season. But, again, it's a, it's a very high chance that we will have a season. Good. I mean, that's that's great to hear. It's just because you want to see those kids get out there and just, you know, do what they, they love to do. Um, what do you think the best part of your game is? Honestly, and this might suck everybody, but honestly, I think I think I'm more of a a cover guy, like you know, scheme up guy, going to the going to the coverage, whatever coverage we're playing in, probably cover one, cover two, and then you know, helping out, helping out over top, and then rolling down here to um to bait the quarterback. And that's actually funny you say that because the the first thing I noticed on your film is they play at outside backer, but a lot of times the the teams you're playing are in a, a spread system, so you're kind yeah. of almost as a slot corner. And when I look at you, I go, "Why do you have this kid so far out from the play?" But your athletic ability jumps because you blitz off that corner, you drop back off that corner, um, so it makes a lot of sense. And it's interesting to hear you say that because you know 
I, you would think that a big kid like you, you'd want him as your Mike backer or rushing off the edge and just wrecking every play. But I think it, it fits with your skill set, which is why some schools I think have you listed as a safety. Um, so that makes a ton of sense. Yes, sir. So I'm always curious when, uh, when I talk to a player is, is there a player that you remind yourself of, or if somebody's never seen your film, a player that you think you play like? Um, probably going to say Duran James or Isaiah Simmons. You know, somebody who can, you know, do it all on defense. It's a, um, just as um, a defensive threat everywhere he plays, put him at. I like that. Um, you know, a, a guy, because I'm, I'm a Pittsburgh guy, and I know Pitt's one of the schools that offer you, so fingers crossed. I, I see you up here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> um, but a player that you kind of remind me of is a, a really young Ryan Shazier, because uh, you're, you're so fast, you're so strong, and when, when Shazier hits you, you felt it. Um, and that's the kind of the stuff that I see you do on film. It, it's like I said, you see a lot of guys make a lot of tackles, but when you hit somebody, it's going to make you question if you really want that ball. Um, so that, that's kind of somebody that I, I thought you remind me of. But I love the Isaiah Simmons and uh, Derwin James. That's a great comparison. And yes, th that brings me to is, you know, who are some of the guys you like to study? Mm, yeah, like I said, like, I, I like to study Isaiah Simmons a lot. You know, um, just playing, how he just plays fast and fly to the ball. Um, whenever Duke, when, like, whenever I'm trying to work on a lot of – a lot of safeties is like trying to compare myself to a big back. I mean, a big safety is like uh, Cam Chancellor and um, Troy Polamalu was a, like was one of my top dude. I looked at like probably trying to go watch his fan, see how fast he can get to the ball. And it just I studied a lot, but but yeah, it's more like a Cam Chancellor more. I like that a lot, and that's that's a guy who, you know, I think that compares to your game very well because he's one of those guys that's just a kill shot waiting to happen. Um, okay. So I have two more questions before we get to rapid fire. Is I always like to hear, you know, what players feel about themselves. Um, so if I'm a fan of a certain school, why should I want you to come to my school? Sell yourself. Because mm, I'm, I'm fun. I love the game, so – I'm fun, I'm athletic, I'm energized. Um, I love to see my team get better because without my team, you know, all them highlights that I made is my team had to sacrifice down themselves so I can go get the quarterback or go catch the interception. So, you know, I just like to have my – just like to have fun with my boys and, you know, have fun with the fans. I just love the fans. And I, I, this is why I hope uh, – the COVID didn't don't get away with this because I can't play without the fans, man. I just love the fans. So, man, I see – when I see the fans and hype, I just get me hype in the band playing. Just can't get no better. I love it, man. I, I think that's a great answer. Um, you know, that's that's why we all play the game, man. It's, it's, it's fun. We love it. And uh, the fact that, you know, you're a team first guy, if I'm a yeah. college listener to this, that's – I'm salivating, man. That That's what I want to hear from, from my guy. Um, you know, with, with you, you're not a, a, an old guy by any means. Um, but, you know, what is some of the things that you've kind of picked up as, as, you know, your time's gone on with the recruiting process? Like, do you have a message for young athletes that you would recommend to them? Um, I would say if I, if I was like, if I tell myself now my first offer, then, you know, through the last offer, I just say I'd be myself more of a, you just gotta be yourself when it's come down to recruiting. You can't, you can't. I seen guys, I seen guys like change because of the recruiting. You can't let that get to your head. Um, just always remain humble, and always, you know, keep pushing it. And then, and then you know you had the offers, but, but you still could pretend like, okay, I still don't got an offer, so I still gotta go out there and play. Or how I am now is like. Um, I got offers, but the fact that they gave they gave it to me was the fact they take it away from me. So I got to still play. I love that, man. That that is a fantastic answer. And uh, unfortunately, you are correct, man. Some people do change. Um, once they start getting a little pub, um, you know, you, you see some guys that are big time and, uh, you know, I, I like a guy who stays humble. They're there for their, their team, their family, their friends. Um, so I, I love that answer. 
And uh, let's get to some rapid fire questions, kind of get to know you a little bit better. Yes, sir. Who is your favorite football player of all time? Oh, Cam Newton. I like it. I like it. Um, favorite place to get a sub? So, wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is a food that everybody else likes but you don't like? Um, a food? It's kind of hard because I like a lot of food. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what, what is some – What's that? Oh, guy? yeah, okay, okay, I think like I think meatball. A lot of people like meatball, but I'm not really a big fan of meatball. So Okay, I like it. Um, what is something that irritates you or makes you mad? Oh, people lie to my face and I catch <laughs> like if I catch them to it and they still lie, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> I like that. That I'm with you hundred percent on that one. Um, give me three things you like to do. Um well, obviously, I like to watch film. Um, I like to hang out like with my boys. Like I said, like hang out with my boys. And also, I just like to kick it by myself a lot. So more of a oh. low-key type guy. I like that. And uh, what is something you're afraid of? Failure. I like that, man. And that's that's what keeps you. That's why you're one of the best, man. Hey, exactly that. Um, I know you're a Georgia guy, so this one might be an easy one, but who is your favorite NFL team? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. <laughs> um, what is your dream job that has nothing to do with sports? Mm, I mean, broadcasting is kind of – you really don't have nothing to do with sports if you don't win to, so I can say broadcast. I like that. Um, do you play any video games? A lot of Madden. A lot of 2K Madden. Madden. <laughs> I like it. Uh, who is your favorite yeah, musician? Sir? Who is your favorite musician? Um, I really don't – I got a lot, but my favorite one is probably got to be NBA Yomba because that's just somebody I go to. You know, I want to chill, probably want to get ready for a game. Um, when I'm driving home, probably listen to him after the game. Just somebody like that. What is your favorite movie of all time? Um, probably. Can't think off the rip. It's probably um when the game stands tall. Okay, that's a different one. Um, who is the greatest podcast host of all time? Probably, uh, Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> Bro, you're supposed to say you straight, man. He give it to you straight. <laughs> Bro, you're supposed to say me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a straight question. Yeah, I, I lost. It. <laughs> um, and then let's end with this one. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, uh, I really don't. I, I think I don't got one really. Okay. It's just too hard to pick. Too many, too many to – we can wait We can wait on that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, nah, hey, man, I appreciate you taking the time to come on the show. Um, you're welcome back anytime. Uh, you know, you're, you're a humble guy. I can't wait to see you succeed. Um, you're just one of those guys that it's impossible to root against. So, again, thank you so much for taking the time, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Guys, go follow my guy on IG. Go follow him on Twitter. Uh, show him some love. It's not too late. Get on the bandwagon. I'm telling you, this kid's the real deal great guy you know it's always nice to see a great football player but a better human being so check him out hit like hit subscribe and we will see you guys next time